blast furnaces first became apparent in the Middle Ages in Europe and also played an important part in the Industrial Revolution. I'm here at Paul Wirth and we're speaking to Georges Rassel about the strategic importance of blast furnaces. Yes, well, we are an European company, as you said, but we are present worldwide. And we know that even in Europe, maybe blast furnaces are not expanding in the future. But there are other parts in, in the world, like Brazil, but above all, like India, where there is still a huge development also in blast furnaces, which will uh, happen in the next future. Ballastop, the development of Ballastop specifically for your company, what developments have you taken into account? Yes, the development of Ballastop was something really for us a very big step. It happened 40 years ago and really it allowed us to become uh, present in worldwide, let's say, in the blast furnace plants by this very outstanding development at that time. During the last 40 years, of course, there had been further improvements which were requested by our customers. So improvements, whatever, let's say, in uh, maintenance, but above all, also in the operational features. And that's what we did uh, also. We followed this based on the experience of these 40 years. We gathered a lot of uh, information and we use this information now to present here at Metec our latest generation. We call it Generation 3 Bellas Top. What advantages do you have if we uh, look at your competitors? What can you offer that, is, that only you can do? Well, what is very clear, we have the advantage of, as I just said, we have 40 years of experience. Others are trying and having one year, a couple of months, and not on all scales of blast furnaces. So it's of course a big difference if you have a small furnace, low pressure, or if you have a big furnace, high pressure. We have experience basically on all of these furnaces, and that's why this is very clearly an advantage which we are using today in order also to improve, improve this. And this is, has been done in the latest generation we are presenting here. Yeah, countries like India also seem to benefit from your services. Can you give us a bit of a background uh, regarding that? Yes, India, as I said before, is a very large market which is still expanding very much. Still, the steel consumption in India is very low compared to other countries and it will develop. There are more and more people wanting a car or a fridge and everything, so there will be more steel consumption in India. And we are currently set up in India with a company of more than 100 people. We are going also to invest further in local manufacturing possibilities for servicing better our products after sales services, which will be done in India. So that is how we are answering to this increased, let's say, consumption also, which will happen in India. George Russell, thank you so much for your time. We wish you all success and look forward to seeing you again in four years' time. Thank you very much.